Billy Lord tears up as she honors late mom Carrie Fisher in Princess Leia dress at Hollywood. Walk of Fame star unveiling. Amid bitter family feud with Carrie's siblings after she snubbed them, Billy Lord sported a dress featuring her mother's most iconic role as she participated in an emotional celebration of Carrie Fisher's life and career on Thursday with the unveiling of the late Star Wars actress star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The 30-year-old booksmart actress was joined at the unveiling by Carrie's longtime friend and Star Wars co-star Mark Hamill, 71, who looked nearly as excited as Billy. The event was perfectly timed to honor Fisher, who died on December 27, 2016, at just 60. As the event took place on Star Wars Day, the informal holiday on May 4, which happens to sound a bit like the famous phrase, May the Force be with you. Lord was emotional as she delivered a speech honoring her late mother's enduring legacy at the ceremony in Southern California. A teary Lord said she was grateful her two young children with Austin Riddle, 30 son Kingston Fisher, two and daughter Jackson Joanne, four months, would be able to see their late grandmother in the iconic film series. I feel so lucky that even though they won't get to meet my mom, they will get to know a piece of her through Leia, Lord said, according to People, and I will get to tell them that the little lady in the TV is my mombie, their grandmombie. Leia has become a family heirloom, and not just for my family. She added of the Walk of Fame honors, I can't wait to bring my kids here when they're old enough to understand how cool it is. In addition to crowds of adoring fans, the event was also populated by top-notch C-3PO and R2-D2 stand-ins. Billy looked as if nothing could spoil the day for her. Even though she didn't invite her late mother's siblings after she accused them of capitalizing on her death for fame and money, Billy put on a busty display in her dress, which featured a black top with a plunging neckline and a cutout just below her cleavage. The dark material was enlivened with silver sequins, while the dress skirt featured a scene of Carrie from the original 1977 Star Wars, which was retroactively titled Star Wars, Episode 4, A New Hope. Her mother was featured in Princess Leia's most iconic outfit, with a billowing white dress and her iconic side buns. Billy paired the look with a set of open toe heels, and she accessorized with dangling diamond earrings while adding teardrop-shaped sparkles just below her eyes. She wore her long blonde hair swept back and tied into two pigtails. Earlier, she donned a tasteful gray trench coat, though she ditched it as things warmed up. Joining the rising star was her father Brian Lord, co-chairman of the high-profile talent agency Creative Artists Agency, CAA. He was married to Carrie from 1991 to 1994, before they divorced and he came out as gay. Brian posed with his daughter in a tasteful tan suit with brown leather shoes. Billy also showcased her infectious grin while posing with the director J.J. Abrams, who helmed 2015's The Force Awakens and 2019's The Rise of Skywalker, both of which Billy was featured in. Abrams wore a gray blue suit with a tie-free blue shirt. Mark Hamill wore a cool black leather motorcycle jacket with a blue polo shirt, dark pants and black leather boots, along with stylish browline glasses. He was joined by his wife Mary Lou York, who wore an elegant pale blue tweed jacket and a lacy white ensemble. Mark was among the speakers honoring Carrie at the event. During his speech, he recounted the first time he came face to face with the postcards from the Edge screenwriter, whom he met when she was 19 and he was 24. Every expectation I had was just obliterated, he gushed about the encounter, via NPR. She was so charming, so funny, so adorable, so wise beyond her years. I just couldn't believe it. And brutally frank, he admitted that it wasn't always smooth sailing with the actress, who led a multifaceted career as an in-demand script doctor, a novelist, and a one-woman stage show performer, though he wouldn't have changed a thing. She played such a crucial role in my personal and professional life and both would have been far emptier without her. Was she a handful? Was she high maintenance?
no doubt, but everything would have been drabber and less interesting if she hadn't been the friend that she was, he said. When it was Billy's turn to sing her mother's praises, she recounted her unsuccessful first introduction to the Star Wars saga. She recalled complaining, it's too loud, mama, and she asked her mother, is that lady in the TV you? It wasn't until she was old enough for middle school that she was suddenly swamped by classmates who were in awe of her famous mother. That day I realized, staring at the screen, that no one will be as hot or cool as Princess Leia, Billy said. Leia is more than just a character. She's a feeling. She is strength. She is grace. She is wit. She is femininity at its finest. She knows what she wants and gets it. She doesn't need anyone to rescue her because she rescues herself and even rescues the rescuers. And no one could have played her like my mother, she added. Elsewhere in her speech she opined on her mother's solid place in popular culture. My mom used to say you weren't actually famous until you became a Pez dispenser. Well, people eat candy out of her neck every day, she joked, according to the Associated Press. I say you aren't actually famous until you get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She added, my mom is a double whammy, a Pez dispenser and has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame now. Mama, you've made it. Posing with Billy at the ceremony was the Los Angeles City Council member Hugo Soto Martinez, who presented her with a framed proclamation congratulating her late mother for her varied career and her new Hollywood Walk of Fame star. The radio host Ellen Kay was also featured as one of the speakers praising the Hannah and her sisters actress. Carrie's brother Todd and half-sisters Jolie and Trisha expressed their outrage about not getting invites. In her statement, Billy claimed that they had capitalized on her mother's death, and she said their actions after her death had hurt her deeply. However, she coldly clarified that there is no feud between her and her uncle and aunts as they have no relationship to speak of. Todd later claimed in a statement to the rap that he had no idea why Billy had not invited him, and he bemoaned that the family, could we not stand together for a moment, set aside our differences, and celebrate Carrie Fisher's legacy in the way she deserves and the way she would have wanted.